Morning traders, it's the 17th of April 2015, just wanted to talk you through this new version of the pivot scanner. Uh, what I'm going to do is just load up a um, sterling chart and for those of you who are not familiar with pivot confluences, it's maybe of some use. So I'm just going to load up a template uh, with some pivots on it and I have a template in here which will load daily, monthly and weekly pivots. So we can see here on this cable chart, we've got a whole range of pivot levels. Pivot levels are defined by the previous uh, period's high, low and close data, and they represent excellent areas for potential price reaction. So if we just zoom into this chart in a bit more detail, we can see here we've got all sorts of levels, um, some of them which are daily, some of them monthly, some of them weekly. What we're looking for with a confluence is an area where levels are very tightly bunched in the same area, in the same price area. And typically we see price reaction around those levels. So you can see here we saw reactions all over the place. So we, we've got a confluence level around this daily M2 uh, level and also the weekly R1 level. And you saw how price came down. This is on a daily chart. So we're talking about 6th of April, we saw that price action come down. These levels will change on a, on a pretty frequent basis. So the daily levels will change on a daily basis, weekly on a weekly basis, monthly on a monthly basis, and so on. But these weekly levels are of significance. So again, we saw that monthly level there get, get hit, and price then reacted from it accordingly. So what we're looking for is areas where there are multiple levels in the same vicinity because we typically see stronger or higher probability of st uh, more significant price reaction. So you've got a choice if you're a trader. You can either go through 20 or so charts or however, ma however many asset classes you trade every morning and look at all these pivots and work out where the confluence levels are. Or alternatively, you can use a tool like the FX Argo Trader Pivot Scanner and I'll load that up for you now. And what that does is it automatically scans all of the charts for you automatically. So I just loaded the pivot scanner up. This is the default settings. And what we're going to see is I'm going to probably keep quiet when it stops to broadcast because it's got a speech alert system on it. So in a second, if there are any confluence levels being hit by any of these currency pairs, we will hear a broadcast example. Um, what I'm going to do also while we're waiting for one is just to slightly increase the range of the levels. So these are the external input, input parameters which drive the system. And what I'm going to do now is just talk you through some of those while we're waiting for an alert. So at the moment we're showing twin confluence levels, which is where two pivot levels are in the same vicinity and also triple confluence levels where we've got three pivot levels in the same vicinity. We're alerting on both twin and triple confluence alerts. We're using the speech synthesis alerts and uh, I won't go through all these in too much detail but what I'm going to do go down what I'm going to do now is go down here and I'm going to increase the the range of the twin pivot proximity from 5 pips to 10 pips and I'm also going to change the price threshold which means that the default value is 3 pips so the price has to be within 3 pips of the pivot confluence. I'm going to change that to 5 and just OK those settings. Euro, Sterling, Twin Pivot Proximity Alert, D, M3 Pivot, Monthly, Central Pivot, Euro, Swiss Franc, Twin pivot proximity alert. Weekly WM1 pivot. Monthly MS1 pivot. RC dollar, Canadian dollar. Twin pivot proximity alert. Daily central pivot. Weekly WS1 pivot. RC dollar, Canadian dollar. Twin pivot proximity alert. Daily central pivot. Monthly MM1 pivot. RC dollar, Canadian dollar, 
Twin Pivot Proximity Alert. Weekly, WS1 Pivot. Monthly, MM1 Pivot. Euro, Swiss Franc. Twin Pivot Proximity Alert. Daily, Central Pivot. Weekly, WM1 Pivot. So, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to turn down the volume on the scanner. So if we get any more broadcasts, it doesn't upset us too much. Once the system has gone through its um, speech-based alerts, you can hear this ticking sound. And every time price action is within a range of these confluence levels, you'll see the actual level being highlit in red and also it being enlarged, the font gets enlarged. So we can see here, these levels are all being hit. So we've got Euro, Swiss franc, and Aussie Canadian dollar, where price action is currently within those levels. So if we go to the, an Aussie CAD chart, and we load up our template for our V3 pivots, change the time frame, and I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit. Going back to the pivot scanner, it was telling us we've got confluences on the central pivot and the WS1 pivot. And you can see here, that's the central pivot of the day. WS1 is here. So in pip terms, we're talking about a proximity of about five pips at the moment. So we're also seeing a confluence level central pivot in MM1, which is the monthly M1 pivot, which is confirmed again there. So MM1 is here, within, that's about six pips away. And we're also seeing confluence at WS1 and MM1 again. So we're, we'd suspect to see some price reaction around this level. And you can see already on this hourly chart, price appears to be rallying up. It's now met this area of pivot confluence. And we've seen a, it spike through a little bit. We saw a rejection down from there. And you may well see this level give way. And Swiss franc, Japanese yen, twin pivot proximity alert, daily M3 pivot, weekly W. R1 pivot, Swiss franc, Japanese yen, twin pivot proximity alert, daily M3 pivot, monthly M, M3 pivot. So let's look at the Swiss franc yen chart, and sure enough, you can now see, seeing this again on an hourly basis, we're seeing a bit of a downtrend, then a spike up. And this is the confluence level which we've just been alerted to here. So be on your guard. This this level may act as a significant level of rejection. So this little bit of this bullish bar here or bullish candle may not actually turn into what people may think it will. So we're seeing it, yeah, a bit of movement. We've got about 25 pips in the last hour. And I would suspect that area will act as significant resistance. So the pivot scanner is really useful for identifying potential turning points in the market. And the new changes to it have significantly uh, cut down the amount of um, speech-based input that the system gives you. You can now hear that this ticking sound just tells you which levels are being hit. The trader has complete control over all the parameters so you can turn the speech alert system off you can also control the number of speech alert cycles at the moment we just have one cycle and that what that means is that you will only be given one speech based alert when a pivot confluence is hit but then after that if you if you use the tick alert you'll just see this or hear this ticking sound and the levels will be highlighted when they're hit you can change all your colors uh, you can change alert intervals, obviously proximity levels, i.e. how close the pivot levels are. 
you can control whether you show twin or triple levels and your intermediate end levels on both the twin and triple uh, pivot confluences. You've got a price threshold, which we talked about before, which controls how close price action is to the, the levels. Uh, you can also now, with this, this new version, you can include specific pairs that you want to monitor. And so that obviously allows you to customize the pair coverage or the, the number of pairs that you want to scan. And that's kind of about it, really. So we'll be producing more up-to-date data sheet on this um, shortly. So you can see here, this the build date on this is uh, 10th of April 2015. In fact, I made some revisions to it yesterday, which is the 16th of April. So this is pretty much hot off the press, much more usable. Hopefully, people will realize that this, this is a pretty smart tool, which allows uh, traders, it takes all the work out of scanning for pivot confluence levels for you and uh, allows and just massively reduces screen time so i hope that's of use if anyone has any questions please don't hesitate to contact me it's info at fxargotrader.com thanks for listening